This is the continent Jana FM. Black History Month. Still in a Black History Month. We start the celebration from the 1st of January for reasons we're on today. <laughs> yes. And I, I, I don't understand where I'm going, but I understand where I'm going, you know, but I have to keep it bright. I have to keep it bright because if someone will keep it bright, the light will just dull. The other time will just flick out. So you have to have someone to keep it bright. This is Black History Month. This is the cutting edge and I'm listening to Dennis Brown featuring Protege. The first that you hear Dennis Brown featuring Jesse Raya. On Earth Day, this weekend, yeah, Saturday, right down in the wharf there, Victoria Pier. Yes. Yeah, this is the cutting edge. So, you know, say, today, I never ever realized it's a holiday. I try to do which one I tell them make it a holiday. It's actually the Irish Valentine's Day. It's just ironical that the Roman Catholic Church have the privilege for lock on the island when they want. And it is all written in the Constitution too. You know, a, 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 a public holiday instituted by the Roman Catholic Church. Everybody have to stop work for, 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 for take part in this. We're not even a lie. You know, this is Ash Wednesday. A lot of people don't even know why them have Ash Wednesday. Just like a lot of people don't even know why them have boxing there. If you ask the most Jamaican out there, what is the symbolism or what is the significance of Ash Wednesday? They, they can't tell you. So it's kind of ironical. It's ironical that we still in a this Christmas boxing day, Ash Wednesday, Lent, Easter, Good Friday, all of these things that was institutionalized by the Roman Catholic Church is still indelible in our psyche over the years. And all the lies they wouldn't tell that you have people in your matrimony who can just write the gospels and all these things and people people will die for these dark and arguments in a Jamaica you have black people who are on it more than white people really the, the, the ideas the ideas that most people who call themselves Christians in a Jamaica will happen all right, come from Europe. All right, when we say all right, we mean like all of it. You know, if it never come from Europe geographically, it come from Europeans. They know they find themselves because you know, say Alexander, they end up all in a Iran, end up in a Egypt, and all these places. They go to certain places and scavenger, scavenger the city them. Burn down the building, them take with the book, them carry it, go out Greece. And they hear say Greece is the, the center of philosophy and learning. But we know now, even though we never know then what it was and what it was all about. So we can't afford to go back in you know, these stories and these lies and these fantasy stories that they have in front of you as African people. And it's very difficult for wake up African people than them slumber. Because it is so inside our way, inculcated in our way that you know way that may I tell you, people reason about these things passionately. Passionately. When we say passionately we mean like to death those part. Even though them do have no reason substantially and justifiably for believing in these things more than say it was handed down through the times and the ages they have no reason to believe it because it has not served us as a people who is domiciled on these farmers near plantation islands for much years now it has not served us it might serve, serve individuals but collectively, just like how oh, you have money, we serve the Jews them collectively. Them, them, it, it served them. 
that them can all take up people land and call it them own, which was given to them by the British, Russians and Germans, gather in our center, in our place, and started to clear themselves owners of the land. It served them because they control America, and America give them the biggest aid. They don't really need it, but it will show the, the collaboration effort will take place between them. African people have never yet come to that fullness. You know, Marcus Garvey the terrorist said, just look for where they go. He never shown them. He said, look for where the Jews go. And I see it. And learn from that. And he never talk about the wickedness and the cruelty. Like all them around out Africans out of Israel and give them till March. The end of March, we leave Israel. As a matter of fact, them, Afri them actually offer the Africans them $3,500 for leave. Can you imagine that? $20,000. It is claimed 20000 illegal Africans is in Israel. Remember the days when they did, did, did shut the in 10,000 Ethiopian falashas into Israel to validate Israel as the place where Jew, Jerusalem is, is, is the center. 10,000 falashas from Ethiopia. I will go to Israel and see how the falashas them are live. I will say, I bet I'm going to in Ethiopia and I'm going to go to the that sit on the streets of Tel Aviv and suffer like how we see them suffer. And then go ask out to experiment with these falashas in Israel. And now we see that, that declaration go out now that 20,000 Africans must leave Israel and face lock up. You think it's me that said that just so if you create mischief? Go find it out and see if I lie me tell. If I give them three thousand five hundred dollars for leave, plain fear. And if them don't leave by the date when them say to the end, I think it's me that like end of March, and why lock them up. So you see the 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 conspicuous nature of Europeans and how them shape the world according to how them want the world to look and feel and how they want you to think and live. And a lot of us just go it down and don't want to stand firm because we are not educated enough to understand history. History. We don't understand that no ordinary person no little bit of man will sell fish and I walk up and down in a Judah or Judea could I write Greek so fluently and so articulate that is like you go that is like you go to Ethiopia and go up on the street and I tell a youth now say or even not even a youth I want to say look you know write Greek Translate the history of Ethiopia in Greek. I was like, you go down in a Greek farm and catch some man over fish and tell him, say, all right, you are why you write a book? But why you write it in French? Or even English, for that matter. And see how they can articulate it. It's a lie, them tell me. Like them tell me, it's the same Europeans them write it and give it to us. For like a feel say, it's some people in other days, in other time they write it. Because after we go investigate and figure out certain things, you know, the place, you know, them, and people don't want to hear me say these things, you know, but it's black history want. And it's related to black history. I one of those people know, say, this place where them call Nazareth never exists before. The so called Jesus Christ, the devout. When them talk about Nazareth, and them take come from Nazareth to Bethlehem and Bethlehem to Nazareth. 
no, 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 Never come from the Nazareth because there is no Nazareth there. You don't believe me. We are the Nazarene. A group of people in the Nazarene. It's, it, 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 it's in Nazarene. And then put it now and configure it into Nazareth and put a city there. For, for manipulate with mine, our consciousness, with them fables. Them fables. That there was a place named Nazareth, and some people moved from Bethlehem to Nazareth for come get caught in all these things. A pregnant woman, a lion, a pregnant, a giant, ripe on a, a, a donkey, 100 miles for go get counted. The story is so lack on to people. But we know and have common sense, and we have also a sense of knowing. And black people still believe these things without serious investigation. I will tell them about Yoruba tradition, the Akan tradition, Kemetic tradition, the traditions in Zimbabwe, all of those ancient places long before any Jewish tradition did rise up. The temples of Alot and all these places. Deep, deep down in Nigeria, the Yoruba, Tabun Akan, and all this thing in the Congo. Them don't want to hear that because it's black. You know, see it? It's black. So the other thing come to be white, and we feel good, and we feel said right and unright. And that now I'm saying, them things are only for them till they don't go so. It's not go so. Because Rome put it there. Rome. Without a doubt, we don't ask somebody that. Most of our concept and belief come from out of Rome. As I mentioned a couple months ago, the, the, the days of the week, the months of the year, Greco Roman ideas latch on power, and we latch on upon it. And we don't want to relieve ourselves of it. Everybody has relieved themselves of it. We as African people at this time, should I read? We should I read? Take the month for read. That is what Black History Month is all about. Black History Month is all about trying to, 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 to gather information about our past and present. And there's so much book there now that is written by African people, black people. There's so much books out there that can be read. We have to take time to read them. You know? We have to read them. Read about our history. Not history. Our story we have to read about, not his story, our own story, our story. How much have we, since the month start, take up a book that relates to African heritage, African culture, and African perspective, African philosophy, you know, very important African philosophy. How much I would take up a book since the month start for dear that. You know, when Valentine Day will catch you a fire book for white, low, po low portions on tight and chocolate and all these things, and what not eat. We as African people have to rise up because the thing has got fast and quick. Yeah, man. The illusion that them create and put in front of it. It's not an illusion to them because they know if you use illusions and get rich and fight and become powerful and fight. We just are using illusion and see it. We don't ever see it. We don't ever notice it's an illusion. So we can't even use it. We just believe it. I want you to take up a book about Marcus Garvey this month here. Check out the DAP. Benio Cannon. J. A. Rogers, all of the great scholars, African scholars. How much of you know about any African scholar for that matter? How much of us know about any African scholars that have written books that can
can stand up to any European history book them that them can bring to us. Because most of the time when we read, read history, the history we learn in our school is not written by African people. It is handed down to us by the same colonial masters who want to keep us into subjugation to for them thinking and for them we are understanding of self. So we use for them logic to define and decide what is right, what is wrong, how things supposed to be and how things not supposed to be. Look how the Roman Catholic Church grip me. Most Jamaican people is not Roman Catholic. As a matter of fact, them tell them the fastest rising denomination, Christian denomination in Jamaica is Seven Day Adventist. And Seven Day Adventist no way, no, 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 celebrate Ash Wednesday. Celebrate Seven Day Adventist, no celebrate Ash Wednesday. Jehovah Witness, no celebrate Ash Wednesday. Rather, no celebrate Ash Wednesday. So most Jamaican people don't celebrate Ash Wednesday. But Ash Wednesday is forced upon us as a place where we should come now and rub ashes for thing and start the Lenten season and don't try to give up things where you know you can't give up. And don't eat meat for much days and this and that until Easter come. And then you celebrate a little Roman holiday again, Bad Friday and Good Friday and Easter Sunday and Easter Monday and all is well again and you're back to normal. It's a ritual that is not perfected in the consciousness. Because it is not ours. Most you don't even know what is Good Friday. What the purpose why them tell us celebrate Good Friday? Most you that Jamaica don't know about Good Friday. Them hear the name Good Friday, but they don't know what is happening. Why you not celebrate Good Friday? Why you celebrate something you don't know about? You should have investigated it. And that is how them have we know. Just follow blindly like zombie according to Villa. They say go right, you turn right, turn left, you turn left. Zombie, oh, I just zombie. The whole way are zombie. We not think. So when somebody come now and write a book for make you think, I said something for make you think, you shout them. You said, no, foolish, it's not. We don't want to that far. We are going so all the while, not never did wrong. What's something wrong? Because we don't have the bottom of the ladder, continue to try to figure out how to get up. The reason why we can't get up is because we are using the other man's logic and the other man's definition of self to define we as a people. And the only way we can define ourselves as a people is through his eyes. And powerful people, according to Ivan Van, according to Jeremy Clark, powerful people will never educate powerless people in what it means to take the power away from them. Because the aim of powerful people is to stay powerful by any means necessary. You want to say that again? John Henry Clark said, he said, powerful people will never educate powerless people in what it means to take the power away from them. Because the aim of powerful people is to stay powerful by any means necessary. So it's even for perpetuate a 400, 500 year lie, a 2,000 year lie. They're going to do it because it know them know say by perpetuating it to the children, children, children of the farmers slave them, they will per be perpetually enslaved. And they will be the masters of these people who feel set them free. So we're not gonna wake up out of that now. We need to educate itself into African consciousness. There's so much things out there. Okay, so we don't know again. You, know. you have computer now. You have computer now. You know, may I get, may I, may I get some response from people at some place where I say, me I say, hey, you want to listen to me? And people respond to what I say. So it's not like say, the, the, the thing is hidden anymore. You know, it's not like you have to hide something now. Or it's not like say, you can't hide it anymore. It's out there. The information is out there. The people with the most information is them who I rule the world as them rule the world. Because information rule the world. And African people lack information, especially in this part of the world. We into superstition. Superstition. I'm feeling superstitious behavior is part of the world. 
criteria to spirituality. Superstition can't carry to nothing spiritual. And that is how black people define themselves. Whether in Africa or Arya so. But very superstitious. It's not like Europeans know superstitious, you know. But we know, we, we know superstitious in our own things. Because then we don't understand how it works. So only if we lack information and so we inspired. You can't be inspired without information because all of that will be superstition. And African people, because they are not informed, them use them belief to define reality. You can't define reality to a belief. You have to define reality to a logical, practical understanding of how things work. How things work have to be in front of you. Spirituality in the African consciousness is reality. It's a living being, a living form, a living idea, a living thought. We work up in the Western world, we work off a fit. And when I talk, when I talk against fit. We also say, if that is the only thing that defines your reality, then you don't have no reality at all. No reality at all. So when the come comes, and they start to show me certain things, we have to really figure it out. Figure it out. And if we can't figure it out, by sitting down to myself, we can't talk to other persons, I go up on the internet or something, we have to figure it out. Oh, Martin Luther, we're not about Martin Luther King now, we're not about the German. The German we are talking about. The German Martin Luther. That is where Martin Luther King Sr. get the name from. Martin Luther. Martin Luther. The German in a Germany. During the time of the Reformation, during the time when the Protestants were raised. We're going to come forward. This is the cutting edge at IFM. Yes, this is the cutting edge. So we are continuing the journey, the journey into the awakening of the African mind and the African consciousness. And this is the last question. We are very concerned. We are very concerned because we see the people them are moving more and more. We are talking about the majority of people now who is not very educated. And we are moving more and more from them African ways. But guess what now? The problem with that is that you know if you're born in Africa, if you be African, because them take North Africa, but they couldn't take the African out of it. So there's something that is in our still that we need to ignite. And you need something for jolt African people for make them know say, hey yo, you're African, you don't know say African. Where you going so far? You understand? And it's going to take a serious shock too. If you want to use one hundred and twenty volt, you have to use like four hundred volt for shock these people. But we really need some shock. You know, there was mentioned a movie a while ago about the Black Panther. You know, it's a fantasy movie, but it has black characters, black heroes, and it's actually a project African clothes and certain part aspect of African culture. I wait you. Know, the movie there will have an effect on how people view African wears, African clothes. I remember my lady introduced African, African wears, and people never did know say. When, when you say African clothes, people think primarily West Africa. Africa is a continent, it is a country. You have 15 different countries in there. And I want to tell you about the different words. So you know, sometimes when people think about African clothes, they think Nigeria. Because Nigeria has more than 70 million people there. And from style and fashion, it's very pronounced. You know, so that they have a thing name. Bollywood, where they want to make more and more 
God. But the point is, is that the pop culture is one of the ways where people get ignited into cultural expressions. Just like how people see Beyonce on TV, they want to look like a, a Rihanna. They want people who want to look like a, you know, some people too much. Some people are just like Beyonce, you know, I'm saying, I want to look like people. Just like how people say, hip hop artists, them, and hip hop dance artists, them, in the mainstream, on TV every day. What we find is that a lot of times, the African, the African women's cultures need to integrate and need to usurp the pop culture. And we have the pop culture. Just like when Rastafari use pop culture for project Rastafari. That's a good example of how a group of people use pop culture to spread a message, an African message and a spirituality that is not found and was not found in music. I think this movie is a very significant movie because it actually shows African things in there in a world where we call it was fantasy but as a lot of things in the way we can see a lot of people in Europe we can see a place in Europe say they can make it close to go and 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 go but um it's very interesting very interesting anyway the reason why we are saying all of them things is because african history never start as slavery slavery is not african history it's which part african history got broken now we are trying many it back now so we have to go beyond slavery we have to go beyond slavery because that is when Africa was in its glory days before the world has come there with them Bible and them gun and teach you to pray with your eye closed. And when them open when them when you open my eye, them <clears throat> them have the land and we have the Bible. And them use the gun to make sure say we accept that. And we are talking about everywhere in Africa. Even in Ethiopia too. We don't like that. Bite that. Italians go to Ethiopia. Europeans in Egypt go over to Ethiopia. And influence the African them into this thing we call Christianity. And we accept it because our only fight we accept as part of our reality. And we decide to grow it. We grow it right. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a step. It's a step. We grow to certain things. And we come realize different now. We come realize that our reality cannot be bound by a book with 66 book in it. Our reality cannot be bound by some little fantasies and emotions that is projected in the pages of a book. But we want to say, them things like, not real. It's not real. It cannot happen. All them say it happen. It's not real. Because there's no evidence of those things happening now. And there's no evidence of it did happen before. And you cannot validate a book by using the same book to validate it. That is madness. You can't validate a book by using the same book to validate it. It just don't work that way there. I want to tell the people about the poetry in motion. Yes, two poetry festivals are going on. One this month and one next month. We have poetry in motion. So on the February 25th, you know, so this is just a safari initiative. Manchester Golf Club. That is in Mandeville. That is poetry in motion going for 50 years now. Uh, well, I say yes, yes, so see, I got you. I know say every year it pack up. Yes, every year. We don't have four four nations, no event right there now. Till they know. But yes, I'm poetry motion. And then we have uh, the display of the uh, Agro Festival where it gone back to the 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 the, uh, the, the school 
Histories of the Western world in that a lot of the belief system that people hold fast to come from out of that place, Rome, through the Pope, them, through the Emperor, them. You know, we talk about Pope, um, Emperor Constantine, all right, but when Rome did not control the place, even in our them called Jerusalem. Them place there because the whole of them destroy the temple them. The local Roman ideas flourish in a them time there. So you will have a man now named Martin Luther. And I must tell you that Martin Luther King we are talking about now. Martin Luther influence Martin Luther Sr. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther, sorry, Martin Luther Jr., which is the famous um, black civil rights leader, where talk about our own, talk about peaceful means. One of the people in Rome say influencing was Mark McCallady, but the name itself was influenced from this German named Martin Luther. Martin Luther was a man who never find favor with the Roman Catholic Church. Never find favor with the Roman Catholic Church because once again, just like early yet, in the drama too. And in the church, you know, they call certain songs. But the interesting thing about Martin Luther is that him write book against the Jews them things that Jews should be burnt and all at the stake and all them something. This is a serious issue right talk about now. But you have a Pope named Pope Leo. That's before the St. Peter's Basilica did build. Because you know them tell you, say, Peter, the same Peter with the Bible, is buried under the Basilica, the church. It is them bury, them bury my hand and eat this up. That is what they say. Anyway. Pope Leo did want to build a more refined place for the church. And I kid you not, in Rome, in Europe, people did almost, just like this camera them, just like how you have this camera them now, people were selling salvation not turning to the Bible itself, but actually selling documents and things that can only really give you salvation, that you can bypass certain aspects of what the Bible preach. 
and get salvation. And this guy when he am Martin Luther now was adamant against it. Adamant against it. But here you know, the Pope seeing that this thing was making whole heap of money and him did want to build when them now call St. Peter's Basilica. If he decides he might go jump into the fray you know, and say yes, yes, he might go use that and make some money. Well, because the Pope them the rich, you know, and this man, this Virgin Martin Luther, you know, wonder why the Pope never take them away to him of our bill, St. Peter's Basilica. Well, it so happened that the Pope get involved with this camp, but say you can't buy salvation. I start to sell this idea and get enough money for build St. Peter's Basilica. Martin. Martin Luther now break away from the Roman Catholic Church and start to protest against the Roman Catholic Church and abattling the Protestants. So, so you get the Protestant Church, you know. The Protestant come, church come out of the idea of the breaking away from the Roman Catholic Church by Martin Luther, just like how any of the eight broke away from the Roman Catholic Church and from the Anglican Church. The, key, the, 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 the Church of England is Anglican and that was coming from Henry VIII. Well, Martin Luther now, the Protestant Church, is coming from this guy named Martin Luther who couldn't detect the Roman Catholic Church again because of all the corruption with them that they did. With. And the, the, the Pope, Leo, they get involved in the corruption to the point of collecting enough money for Bill St. Peter's Basilica. So, why may I say this to you now? May I say this because St. Peter's Basilica is like Buckingham Palace to England. St. Peter's Basilica is to the Roman Catholic Church because that's where the Pope rest lie. And St. Peter is the first Pope. That's what I'm telling you now. St. Peter is the first Pope. And it was buried under the earth. Now all of these things cannot be proven. But people hang on upon it over the years. And you have black people in Africa who right now hold on upon the Roman Catholic Catholicism, Roman Catholicism more than the Europeans them. Meanwhile, the people in Africa are suffer. A suffer. They must sell the people them the salvation message that come from the same home, the same Pope them, who did use camp to make up wealth and build up them big wealth in the church and them thing there. Just like how you have these white people them now who call them tel televangelists and you have some in a Nigeria too, who are use money, who are use the same, same doctrine, um, get rich quick in the name of Jesus and build up church and build up not only church but I've only for Mercedes Benz and jet plane and all them something there now we never know if you use it collectively as African people we do it individually but as collectively collective we never, we never do it you know Roman Catholic Church set up St. Peter's Basilica and you have about a billion people who will die for the Pope and all the things them that them say about eating the flesh of Jesus and drinking the blood and Ash Wednesday and Easter and Christmas and all the things them in between. And them have African people have followed these things to death. To death them have African people have followed these things. And most African people right now will prefer to be a Roman Catholic than to be a part of the African traditions of ancient days with longer than Rome and the St. Peter's Basilica and the Pope them. The craziness we used to go on in a Rome is not matched nowhere on earth when it come out to wickedness by these so-called people who is vicar of Christ and you have African people who give them a 
life for these fantasies and fantas fantastic stories or oh, uh, educate yourself differently the most at the school them in Jamaica that we them call IN school was started by the church then why if you say the youth them and the people them who are governed you now is so oppressive because they have come from a system that was oppressing our four parents and then just continue it and that is all them help for maintain white supremacy the Europeans don't have to be here for maintain that they left them institutions here them church and them school democracy and all these things they left it here so as to maintain them power so when you think say choose black people a rule it means say while we are talking about white people and black people are rule they look on today today is ash wednesday what have you do with black people what have you do with black people it don't have nothing to do with black people but it is maintained it is maintained here this is this is legislated this is a legislated holiday it is maintained here as part of our culture we who were our ancestors were slaves have to maintain that ash wednesday easter christmas and all that things that were come in between and we still are still on it we still are on it because we can't throw it when we don't know why we are throw it when we can't keep it and don't know why we are keep it because you have some people who say well, if you throw it when you have to put it in place you don't have to put nothing in place you don't have to put nothing in any place if you don't have Christmas you don't have to put nothing in any place at Christmas because Christmas only you have to put something in any place like I want to say boy right now it won't nasty up the street because if you want to nasty up the street the garage man now got to work that's our mentality today we out we out we out we out we out you have to have tea because if you have no tea police are going to work the joke business that joke talk so when them give me room because the thing is that even Rastafal feed to that I want to prefer lick against Babylon and maintain Rome because I leave you a man attack white Rome burn down Rome and I mean people say it but most of the time when we talk in the negative about an oppressive system we talk about Babylon and the reason why we say Babylon is because we read the Bible it is alleged <laughs> that the Jews were persecuted by the Babylon, the Babylonians. And they were coming like the king of Babylon, put three men in the ground, which are not better than a bendigo, and they were going to get born, and they were going to eat them because he was vegetarian. So it's a good story. But why should we now fight against Babylon? Because we use Babylon as a metaphor for cruelty and wickedness and oppression. But it's really wrong, we should have direct that anger against. Rome. Rome is where we should have directly hang again. Not, not, not necessarily Babylon. Because when you get right long to it, the Babylonians never do we nothing. The Babylonians never instill them religious practice and beliefs in our ancestors and in slavery. And the Romans them do that from time and world. From the days of the Caesars. When them connect with Greece, Greco Roman ideas, all in Ethiopia. You go to Ethiopia, you see the residues and the remnants of Greek. Greece. Greece is all over Ethiopia. In the church. Greece then there. Rome. Greece. England all these places have been able to maintain their supremacy in the western world and anyone who get caught in the western world 
But I think that supremacy for them. This is the cutting edge. Yes, this is the cutting edge. You know, I ran the violent thing a while ago. But I was a Indian. But I want to play that tune by him, you know. Yeah, I want to play that tune by him. Here goes. Yes, with the video. Immoral. Immoral. Where are people dying? Make the world a better place to live in. Play that for me. Yes, I have one covering Michael Jackson song. He know what? This is the cutting edge. of the world and it dominated the Middle Ages was because it got hands with Emperor Constantine. As a result of Constantine's pro-Christian policies, many people who believed pagan gods converted to Christianity. This consolidated Constantine's political position. There was no need for the church in Rome to refuse to convert because it was a good opportunity to secure its religious position. It was quickly secularized. During the Middle Ages, it was even hard to tell the difference between the church and the secular world. The Catholic Pope enthroned kings and kings protected the Catholic Church. But closing the Catholic Church itself was rebelling against one's own country. an absolute power. We can see just how powerful he was through one incident, the humiliation at Canossa. That happened during the time of Pope Gregory VII. Pope Gregory VII claimed that the Pope could not be judged by anyone on earth. He could be thrown emperors and kings and excommunicated Henry IV, the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. In the course of the investiture controversy, as Henry IV was faced with the crisis of being dethroned, he went to the Pope who was in Canossa. Barefoot, he walked for three days in the snow outside the castle of the Pope and begged for his forgiveness. This is what is called the humiliation at Canossa incident. The Pope had so much authority that there was no one who was able to hold back the church from abusing its power anywhere in Europe. Not only that, the Pope's committed numerous crimes such as murder, blasphemy, simony, and adultery to hold on to their seat of power. In fact, the only 
terrible deeds of the corrupt popes. On the other hand, Pope Leo X enjoyed works of art and collected masterpieces. He invited artists like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael to the Vatican and not speak Driven by his vanity, he constructed St. Peter's Basilica. However, as he ran out of money by collecting costly works of art, he started to print a greater amount of indulgences. An indulgence is a certificate giving the forgiveness of sins. A Catholic priest propagated that people were guaranteed to enter the kingdom of heaven safer when they gave was one of the biggest businesses of the Catholic Church. Its indulgences was a good solution for those who were seized by the fear of hell. Numerous people gathered to buy the kingdom of heaven. A man who is on his knees presents a model of the chapel to Yes, I don't know. 
down, you know, it's, it's not the Pope them started, you know. But the Pope them jump on it because, well, the Pope Leo jump on it because him seen say, he will never have enough money for building a church, which is the St. Peter's Basilica. So, he jump on it now for get the rest of the money for build it. And that was a straw who brought the camel back with the other brother named Martin Hunter. Broke away because he said, this is madness. This is craziness. Yet still, Martin Luther, who found the Protestant um, denomination, was also guilty of writing books that talk about burning the Jews. So you see so much rigmarole and rigmarole used to go on there. So, and we come now, come in all of these things. I feel like say, them there, them history there is something where we should have really up to or up to and until. Because we don't know. Because we don't know. So why the hell I as an African now? After knowing all these things, should I still maintain all of those arguments when they give me in and them book that was written for long later in the Greek language but most people couldn't read anywhere. Not even in Europe, them could have read it. Why would I know, after knowing all of these things, still maintain white supremacy in my heart of heart? Why? I mean, ignorance is not bliss. Did the world wars, revolutions, and big events of human history evolve naturally? Or were they calculated and pre-planned? If they were pre-planned, who planned them? And what are they planning for the future of humanity? The answer to this puzzling question can be found within the boundaries of three of the world's most powerful cities. Those three cities belong to no nation and pay no taxes. They are Washington's District of Columbia, which is not part of the city of Washington or of the United States, the inner city of London, which is not part of London or England, and the Vatican City, which is not part of Rome or Italy. These cities called city-states have their own independent flag, their own separate laws, and their own separate identity. The Vatican City is in fact a state, the smallest principality in the world. It lies on the banks of the Tiber, completely surrounded by the city of Rome. Its status as a separate state emerged from the minor agreements of February 1929. It has its own newspaper, postal service, radio and television station, its own flag, and a population of about 1,000. The Vatican also has its own army of Swiss guards, and it even has its own prison. rules over approximately 2 billion of the world's 6.1 billion people. The colossal wealth of the Vatican includes enormous investments with the Rothschilds in Britain, France, and the USA, and with giant oil and weapons corporations like Shell and General Electric. The Vatican solid gold bullion worth billions is stored with the Rothschild-controlled Bank of England and the U.S. Federal Reserve Bank. Church is the biggest financial power, wealth accumulator, and property owner in existence, possessing more material wealth than any bank, corporation, giant trust, or government anywhere on the globe. The Pope, who is the visible ruler of this colossal global wealth, is one of the richest men on earth. While two-thirds of the world earns less than two dollars a day, and one-fifth of the world is under threat or starving to death, the Vatican holds the world's wealth, profits from it on the stock market, and at the same time preaches about giving. How did the Pope and Vatican accumulate all that wealth over the millennium? One method was to put a price tag on sin. Many bishops and popes actively marketed guilt, sin, and fear for profit by selling indulgences. Worshippers were encouraged to prepay for sins they hadn't yet committed and get pardoned ahead of time. Those who didn't pay up risked eternal damnation in so 
big as oven. Pope Leo X rebuilt St. Peter's Basilica, selling tickets out of hell and tickets to heaven. During the Dark Ages, the Catholic Church not only hoarded the wealth they collected from the poor, but hoarded knowledge. They kept the masses ignorant and in the dark by denying them a basic education. Like Vatican City, London's inner city is also a privately owned corporation or city-state, located right smack in the heart of Greater London. It became a sovereign state in 1694 when King William III of Orange privatized and turned the Bank of England over to the bankers. By 1812, Nathan Rothschild crashed the English stock market and a storm controlled the Bank of England. Today, the city-state of London is the world's financial power center and the wealthiest square mile on the face of the earth. It houses the Rothschild-controlled Bank of England, Lloyds of London, the London Stock Exchange, all British banks, the branch offices of 385 foreign banks, and 70 U.S. banks. It has its own courts, its own laws, its own flag, and its own police force. It's not part of Greater London or England or the British Commonwealth and pays no taxes. The city-state of London houses Fleet Street's newspaper and publishing monopolies. It is also the headquarters for worldwide English Freemasonry and headquarters for the worldwide mini cartel known as the Crown. Contrary to popular belief, the Crown is not the royal family or the British monarch. The Crown is the private corporate city-state of London. It has a council of 12 members who rule the corporation under a mayor called the Lord Mayor. The Lord Mayor and his 12-member council serve as proxies or representatives who sit in for 13 of the world's wealthiest, most powerful banking families. This ring of 13 ruling families includes the Rothschild family, the Warburg family, the Oppenheimer family, and the Schiff family. These families and their descendants run the Crown Corporation of London. The Crown Corporation holds the title to worldwide Crown land in Crown colonies like Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. The British Parliament and the British Prime Minister serve as a public front for the hidden power of these ruling Crown families. Like the city-state of London and the Vatican, a third city-state was officially created in 1982. That city-state is called the District of Columbia and is located on 10 square miles of land in the heart of Washington. The District of Columbia flies its own flag and has its own independent constitution. Although geographically separate, the city-states of London, the Vatican, and the District of Columbia are one interlocking empire called Empire of the City. The flag of Washington's District of Columbia has three red stars, one for each city-state in the three-city empire. This corporate empire of three city-states controls the world economically through London's inner city, militarily through the District of Columbia, and spiritually through the Vatican. The Constitution for the District of Columbia operates under a tyrannical Roman law known as Lex Fori, which bears no resemblance to the U.S. Constitution. When Congress passed the Act of 1871, it created a separate corporate government for the District of Columbia. This treasonous act allowed the District of Columbia to operate as a corporation outside the original Constitution of the United States and outside of the best interests of American citizens, Corporation of the United States. Like Canada and Australia, whose leaders are Prime Ministers of the Queen and whose land is called Crown Land, the United States is just another Crown Colony. Crown Colonies are controlled by the empire of three city-states. At the center of each city-state is a towering, gallic-shaped stone monument called an obelisk that points downward. In D.C. city-state, the obelisk, known as the Washington Monument, was dedicated to Freemason George Washington by the Freemason Grand Lodge of the District of Columbia. The secretive brotherhood of Freemasons laid the Washington obelisk's cornerstone in 1848 and contributed 22 Masonic memorial stones. 
215 Masonic Lodges financed the Washington Monument Obelisk, including the Knights Templar Masonic Order. At the heart of London city-state is a 187-ton, 69-foot-tall Egyptian obelisk called Cleopatra's Needle. It was transported from Egypt and erected on the banks of the River Thames. In Vatican City, another Egyptian obelisk towers high above St. Peter's Square. What exactly is an obelisk? Obelisks are phallic-shaped monuments honoring a pagan saint god of ancient Egypt called Amun-Ra. The spirit of this pagan god is said to reside within the obelisk. Obelisks symbolize the phallus and fertility. At the base of the obelisk is a sunwheel circle symbolizing the vagina. Together, they depict male and female sexual union. Worshippers of Amun believe Amun is the supreme god and creator of all things and can transform himself into other gods like Osiris, the god of the underworld, or Seth, the god of evil and Yeah, this is the cutting edge, I have him. The time is 12 o'clock. The one called Crucial Banky. Yes, we're there with you. Cutting edge. We're going to take some call. We're going to take some call. Petit, send in the call them. Send in the call them, Petit. All right. I went by Fabian. Don't buy native black trucks. Yeah. Hello. You're blessed. Bless up, Mota. Respect. How is it? Yeah, man. One, 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 do a big, big up on the program. You see, you see, ask the seller, Mr. Sunday, the PN Jabby. The what? The PN, the PN Jabby, you Mr. Sunday. Yeah, I know me, yeah. Yeah, man, I want to give him a big, big up, man. Splendid piece of work, that man. Yeah. Yeah, man, splendid piece of art work, that. Great Who is artist, just, just a self, sir. Yeah, all right, sir. Yeah, man, most of I love the program, yeah, man. Give thanks. You see, you see, I'm, 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 I'm not just with, 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 the black people still know. Black people throw away out for them culture and embrace every other race, every race, race culture. And that's what I talk about. And that's what I talk about. Yeah, man. Them throw away for them culture and want to all the race culture out there. Yeah. Why we don't want to embrace for your own culture, eh? Why? Eh? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. Thank you for your sister Kaboy, you know. I want to inspire me to embrace my culture, you know. Yeah. Embrace my blackness. Embrace my broad nose and my big eye. All right, sir. Man, real respect, you know. Respect young Kabu, man. Plenty of work now. I respect the artist, man. Plenty of work. Yeah, give thanks. Let's go. Yes. Yes, and we're glad to hear that. We over there, so. Okay. We're going to take the car. Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, man.
Some buggy road. So, so you know we come to our improvement. The thing should have done a little better, but the man will not agree. Mm. Don't waste time. All right, sir. Take care of yourself, man. Yeah, man. Give thanks, man. Yeah, man. The man has taught the right thing, you know. Something will come from regular part of the program, but you know what, man? Yeah, the time is 18 minutes past 12 o'clock on the continent. Yes, here. Here. Yes. I'm on to that? Yeah. Boot up, Breeze. How you do? Breeze. What? <laughs> Breeze. Let me just call you up and say, boy. Me, me I work at church from the 70s come right through. Yes. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> ah, Breeze. How you do? I listen to you. Me, I listen to you a week time, you know? Yes. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I listen. I don't know about you there. Yeah, yeah. What? Right. Hey, people don't know what I mean, a Gene Breeze, original <laughs> dumb point. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Here, just, just hurry up and me love the trad, me love the trad. Give thanks, give thanks. Yeah, man. Nice yeah, to see you, fireman. Keep on listening, me I keep on listening, yeah, yeah? All right, Breeze. Yes. Yeah, enough knowledge, enough knowledge, man, enough knowledge. All right. All right, right Muta. Yes, but I tell you, Gene Breeze. Long time ago, you're from Gene Breeze. You know, sorry for Gene Breeze kind of program. <laughs> All right, all right. But something was a strike out tonight, yeah, man. Yeah, good morning, boss. Best and man. Yeah, man, I'm so many in a critical moment. I mean, I really can't do it. I'm a big listener to you. To you. I'm big fans to you, radio station. I want to make a couple nights. Well, I don't make a couple nights. I don't know, like, the night when Queen Africa come and I shoot and so you come and you from the show like the Yellow Station Park. But I sit there and go in and shoot up and I rush 
Kwaatu Sio time taxi kumfumi Kwa milita to Queen Africa and whatever Eza me footbook recently Ana uh, hundred and five thousand si si dole the bone So me buy some pins for me going on my foot before And Me pay a seventy thousand si pin And that kind of time me say me bone stop go so me have to buy the bone back for my foot and right now the, the situation I mean I know critical for me because all the little money I have spent out you understand me? I hear you all the people I hear you no way yeah, so I don't know how I can get a donation or a try to set a donation to the bigger help like you want you want to leave a number or something? yeah because I talk to Queen Africa and, and Brian Stevenson and they must say, well, come give me a, 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 a bona, bona fire for me at night, at night. But I think uh, please don't shut down, but they must say, I have to get, I have to get, I have to get, but they must say, I have to give him a money for half of the money for the land. And the thing that beat me right now, Mota, because I won, I remember one year, I found 2016, I fucked up Mota. We broke, broke it. Huh? We broke it. You know what I say? I done a royal town and agree with me did their work. I'm in love with a woman and I come out of a relationship. And I pack up to go out of a relationship. And the woman go like a police. She come see me a pack up. And she go like a police. She a call and call bad man for me. Okay. And I have a jump over a stairs case. The jump over where? The stairs case. Me and I pack up. Oh, broke your foot. Yeah, I'm going to up on my right foot and, and go um, go home and get to Jamaica, Jamaica, or uh, West End. So what uh, woman did they know? A nigga, she did you know. Okay. Uh, she, she tell me, say, she did a breed, I'm going to take a stop, she did a breed, but a uh, 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 style, she has style, me come like a man, I'm going to throw them. Mm. So check it. Yeah. And I know me, I tell her, say, me did a bow, like, and 200 toes in our bank or uh, 200 toes in our bank and the drive out me at her because my pin and I have to pay the pin for 20,000 yeah yeah and yeah and I have to buy some medication for 14,000 and a, and a 30 well in the pack and I have to buy that two times for the month because I say me can't make it done because the infection is coming on my foot so how much money you need now? right now me at her the truth you know I don't know you no more, sir. No, I ask you how much money you need. 140,000 for the bone. And the, and the, the surgery, the, um, the, 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 the right in front, go next door, so I'm going to buy the pin them. I could not go over there. Same place, you say, them people, they're not so. Oh. Bam, 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 yeah, 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 the Marcus got the thing. Yeah, yeah, because I'm the one come at home to you know. But the money met me not rich to you know. Yeah. All but right, you want to know if you want to leave a number that the people that want to call you, anybody who want to call you? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man, because I'm here, 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 I'm all right, eight, no, four, five, eight, twenty-five, fourteen. Four, five, eight, twenty-five, fourteen. Yeah. Where name? William. William, Kiwian, William. All right. You come from Santana? Santana, South Ramon. Oh, Saint Mary. All right. Yeah. All right, Bridget. All right. Yeah. Give us some data. Yes. Yeah, the Virgin needs some help. Let him work with her right now. Uh, we have a plan strong still. Why, <laughs> Jean, you make me night, you know. Jean Breeze, you make me night, you know. I hear your voice. Trust me, man. I hear your voice. Yeah, yeah. You think, man? Yeah, man, listen to you. Yeah, man, I heard you with the thunder, no? Where you give me the what? The CD, yeah. I will if a man give me CD thunder, you know. Uh, yeah, man, I love my bag full of CDs on the man. Yeah, man, you know, you do the CD, mark all your lips. Okay. Yeah, man, I just had call up the man, you know. All right, I give thanks. Yeah, man. 
And when my man used to buy some nuts from the man from high times, them same day there. Oh, you used to that man? Yeah, man. I used to listen to the man, man. Okay. Give thanks. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. All right. So give thanks. Yeah, man. I bless him. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, blessed. I did. Father, no talk. I did. <laughs> it is good to hear you, man. The talk, man. Because years ago, nonetheless. Me remember the voice, man. Yeah. You know, um, fundamentals. Uh, the new movie, yeah. Yes. Black, Black, Panther. Black Panther. Yeah, I saw a little preview. My son sent something from uh, New York, you know. Mm. Uh, have you seen the preview? Yeah, man, Black Hero. Yeah, man. Okay. My lady had some design for the, the launch, the uh, character. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, African, African uh, design. Give me a 10 word overview of it, no? Eh? Give me a 10 word overview of what you think of it in depth. Well, it's the first, it's the first, what you call now, Black Hero, Super Hero. I see them put on screen, but in it, you see, I pure African clothes and things, I see. And, I mean, that's it for me, you know. Oh, that's it for you. It's a fantasy, me. but it have black images, and the, 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 the clothes them were in there is very African, and no only for young people will like that kind of African clothes. You know, so we just, we, we, we like all the, the project. The projection right in the African way. But as I say, it's just another superhero Marvel superhero movie, you know? Okay. Yeah. Um it is noted that in every thirty year there is an upheaval, revolution, um, agitation by the oppressed. Mm. Um in the sixties we had the black exploitation movies, superflies and all of that. Mm. And it was a way to divert the real um, essence that people like James Brown brought about, like uh, I'm black and I'm proud, and Gil mm. Scott Heron, which was one of the brother in uh, the last poets, mm. very, 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 very hopeful brother that brought yeah. us. Um, you know, your father is a Jamaican. I'm sorry. You know, same father is a Jamaican. Never know that. Yeah, man. Gil Scott father. Never know that. Man. Give thanks for that again. So yeah. you always learn. Mm. But what I noted was Gil Scott died of an overdose. Drugs? Yes. Yeah. Shirley P. Newton died of an overdose. The co founder of, yes. David and Ruffin, one of the least yeah. singers for the Temptations, them fire in the cock house, dead. Ex exactly. Yeah, yeah. Then you have Fred Hampton um, and others yeah. who. George Jackson, who they killed in jail. Mm. Um, uh, Eldridge Cleaver was co opted and came back saying he saw Jesus and so forth. So, hear what? The Black Panthers started the breakfast program and all of these things. Mm. They started a lot of awareness that you could carry a gun to defend yourself and so forth as well as it's open. Mm. And you saw these things. But more so, they brought about a lot of culture awareness, a lot of um, 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 evolution in the way black people saw themselves. Yeah. yeah, it was the Afro, which is your natural, as opposed to uh, people buying uh, artificial this and that from Brazil and, and stuff where Korean, Koreans are now marketing. What may I say to you is the Black Panther movie is an escape, it's a diversion. Mm. The Black Panther movie is saying to me that. If you can take a bit some pieces from the Panther movie, they know that Black Lives Matter is an arising because white people now join the black cards. You have to find a way to divert all those energy like like a Wu Chong practitioner that you don't stop the blow but you divert it. Yeah, but wait there, wait there, wait there. The Black Panther did the ball before the Black Lives Matter still you know. It's a marvel. It's a marvel superhero. I'm saying it is true, my good brother. But hear me. My expression again is is it's a 
to do with uh, uh, um, dreams reflect reality. The inner reflect the outer and the micro reflect the macro. If you keep the individual attuned on, because they put snippets of, of, of uh, haven't you heard, the revolution will not be televised and all of these little expressions that we had in the 60s that was very motive. Yeah, they use, they use Gil Scott with things that in there, yes. Yes. So, it, 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 it evoked, I mean, one clipping of, one clip of a Coca-Cola during halftime caused half the theater for walk and go buy Coca-Cola, you know. So, if you put pieces of Gil Scott, it reminds us and brings us back to a black exploitation state where they are no, as, as Biko says, the greatest weapon in the hand of the oppressed is the mind of the oppressed. Of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. So, if, in, if we, they can take what we are saying is part of our awakening and divert it, then we have not evolved from that awakening. We are still sleeping. Uh, or they are keeping us in a state of docility. Yeah, we're we'll actually our next point of view with it now. Go ahead, my brother. Yeah. Uh, you see the youth, them nowadays, them do have a clue about what you're talking about, you know. You talk about a Black Panther Party and you know, nah, 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 they do have a clue. All right. You see this movie, you know, because of the frivolousness of these youth, you know, it kind of interject a certain aspect of blackness where well, even though might look at it as frivolous, but them you just see it as serious. Because them never have the the, the, the strength where we didn't have in a them time left. You know, say Black Panther was doing that and Black Panther and you know, I mean what where I think it can do, I think it can invoke something like the youth, the frivolous youth them right now, who have no other not less to lean pan, but more than the frivolity of movies and audio and uh, whatsoever them have to really visualize that this is African designs this is drawing from a period when them never did born maybe them father never born either and maybe it can invoke certain things like going to the data of an Afro day and come up in a Miss World in a Miss Universe thing and people start to really look by Afro again for the way there. so we can't look at it as a serious thing and I say, yeah, you know, but this thing a divert the thing, but and we it had, it had divert from where we didn't know it's supposed to be, but it not divert from the youth them. Because the youth they never know what you are talking about and what me know. The youth them know what they must see as or no, and they must see something new. They must see some a, a, a black hero where them never usually see on the screen. You know, everybody the hero them was white. And they must see images where it's, it's, it's basically African image upon it. I mean, all, most of the clothes, I mean, they are from, uh, African design from South Africa, them thing there, you know? So, that, that is the danger. Out of chaos comes order. Out of the simple comes the divine. And out of, for example, one revolution of what we see now as the Iranian revolution or the French Revolution or the Cuban Revolution, the out of the simple um, situation is growing what we see now as how much years, 55 plus or more years of Cuba being in power and a thorn in the side of the U.S. Mm. Now, it, it don't take much to awaken a people who are oppressed or sleeping. It doesn't take much. One match can burn down a house. So, uh, as J. Edgar Hoover says, and we know what Edgar Hoover did in terms of Malcolm, in terms of King, in terms of all of the uh, arising of black awareness, is that we must never allow another black martyr or black um, um, phenomenon to arise like Malcolm. So by any means necessary, is one of Malcolm's expression. That is what they are using. So it doesn't take. Yes, the youth are unaware. Yes, we are caught into the into the clicking age with the test cell phones and the 
uh, Google Play Store and the rest. But the end essence of it is to keep a people. Um, how about this book? It's called The Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. Have you read that book? Yeah, but we need to sell them. All right. Well, in the protocols, it says we will keep them attuned in frivolous things so we can control them. The protocols, the Goyim, the elders of Zion, the international Jews, another one. How Europe underdeveloped Africa. So yeah, I'm going put, 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 put a book there. How oh, Europe underdeveloped Africa. I see him talking as the elders of Zion. No, the elders of Zion to become like fake news still. No, no, no. Um, Dr. Rally, right? Um, Walter Rodney. Yeah. He's showing us how they can take something like all natural resource and bring it back to us yeah. in a complex state like an engine and charge us more. So I'm using that as a as as you know as an expression to say that what you see now as raw material and then taking it out is nothing. What we see as taking our image and making something of it, when they bring it back to us in a complex state like a movie, it is so devastating because every movie has an end result of a meaning and they want to portray something on the minds of the oppressed. Yeah, but wait a minute, Virgil. Watch out now. You see, me understand where I say, I can't take it on that level because I come from the same age where you are, say. But me now, if you look on all the, the youth them now, the, the position of the youth them, you know, it's a total different understanding the youth them have. So me have to look on it now. What would a youth have look on this? And I come come from we know who are saying now of a history and we have here now connect historical points with what are going on now and all them something like the youth them do have that reference point you know them have a reference point totally different so we can't say because we have that history you now the effect we are gonna have now is to retract or really devastate the whole revolution. I I, I don't really and I, I don't see Say it's going to devastate a revolution. It's either it's going to just make part of the movie, or it's going to have some influence in it, just like how we see Rihanna sing and the youth them were wearing the long dread. We should name Rihanna, yeah. Wear the long thing on them back and say, I them here, but I want the Chinese thing. I don't worry. I have nothing to do with Africanness. Yet still Rihanna them and Jay Z in some deep African way where. The more and more and gradually I see it come out in the music. Jay-Z, okay. eh? You, you and I come from the same period. Yeah, so what I have to know is that, is that now, we can always say, yeah, but you see, when they might come with now, it's for really retract the revolution. There's no revolution to retract, you know. Okay. There's no revolution to retract. What is happening now is that there's something that is happening now that is bringing to life because it's a you make the movie, you know. It's a black youth make the movie. So you can't say, yeah, right. look on certain things that certain way. And okay. it will create that experience in a that certain way. Where you never look out and say, but that now represent our African is what we know from you know, the black movement and black. Yes. 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 All right, hear me. You're right, you're right. But hear me. Um the Grammys, reggae music, what we see now is Someone like Chronic start out in real how um, what it is for one little Rastaman to light a fire in the Vatican. Yeah. Uh, Anthony B with some of the same things and yeah. so forth and others. Yeah. And after a while, if you listen to the length of that genre uh, of the music where they are seeing, it will change to to somewhat the uh, recipient for one to gain a Grammy which we call a summer a little like a bummy. The extent of it is they have skewed who how who our, have skewed? Who have skewed? people is putting forth conscious then what, then we, then, 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 then the one where we no conscious no conscious man is All a, right. is a conscious is a conscious album with you know. Father Mota. Yeah. Father Mota with respect. Yeah. 33 years ago, I was in Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, yeah. with the movie that you made in Sankofa, and yeah. much people haven't seen that movie to, yeah. to find the cultural essence of it. And I sat with Haile Garima in that film festival for hours 
years and several days. And let me tell you, what that brother, Haile Garima, told me about movies was just, it hasn't placed itself on me until today. No, wait, come back, to, come back to the chronics thing, man. Come back to the chronics thing. What you saying that happened there, sir? What you say happened there, sir? The no, I am saying yeah. chronics to me now yeah. is one who is very, very upfront with an awakening. Yes. And I am I am so appreciative of yes. at least at least there's one in the park. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is when you look at how it is it it is um along um along the uh, the, the cultural front or the ex um enlightening front. Yeah. So that the people won't perish. It is only a few, a handful that is seeing reggae music that is out there. We are we are giving um, credits to and accolades to popcorn and uh, no, 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 we are going to go around the corner, man. I know that we are talking about, man. No, no, no. I'm just trying to show you yeah, the balance no, no, and, no, and the evidence of movies, film, and awareness of a people's mind. Yeah, but we are just talking about the Grammy a while ago and chronics. Yeah, but the Grammy... What is, is the relationship between gra gra the, what you are talking about with chronics and the Grammy? More than no, it, it sounds like no, you no, him no. should have win. I am uh, say it again. No, it sounds like you said that his him should win. No, 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 I'm not saying that. Uh, tell me exactly what I say. It's really I am saying that program. awareness of one like chronics yes. is of a high stature. Well. Yeah, and we should look at how in time the evolution of the music Usually, it changes into something more befitting to gain a Grammy. So, if he's a chronic, I will change the music for make a for make a Grammy album. Well, what we're seeing is it's not up to the artist, you know. Only not up to the artist. No, no, no. It's up to the 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 institutions that control the music industry. You so, so if he's a dear man, make the album for win the Grammy. And no, no, and don't make it to win the Grammy. Yeah. If the Grammy will only accept, the, okay, um, mind control in the United States, another book, states about movies, um, music, and even seeing what you send. For example, every email, every um, a phone call you make is recorded in Maryland in the full story. Uh, we're you know, going different place. We we all talk about chronics and the Grammy. I mean, I say, yes. you say, it's all like you say. Eventually, the the, the system, because of winning a Grammy, people train them consciousness for win the Grammy. I am saying to you, and eventually then. that's going to happen. But remember, I say, me not seen say, me not the two album them. Chronics album and Damian album. It's not the first Damian win the, the Grammy. I don't see no, no. Damian make the album for win the Grammy. Um, Nas with Damian is fine. Damian music. But I'm saying to you, the music will not be accepted if it's stick against the plantocracy. No, but not no go so. Not no go so. No, man. Not no go so, man. Because our music, we accept. We accept Chronics. And we accept Damian Marley. And Damian Marley and Chronic's album as speakers. And they, 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 we don't need them to legitimize what we are doing. No, those two albums is, 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 is on top. I love it. But what I'm saying to you is we must look at time. And over time, that yeah. end essence will change. That we must look for. Then Peter Tash didn't win that. the Grammy to man. Peter Tash never, never changed him thinking. He never, he never changed. Again, the evolution and the extrapolation of time and things is what we must look for. Yeah, but look how long Peter Tash passed away. And then still, still have other you to come and carry the same burden and go through said way. So, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if you say that the system are going to make the thing stop because it not stop it. You know, Bernie yeah. Spear never stop. Bob Marley never stop. Even myself, you would not do music for a bigger level, never stop. So I'm not understand why you think, say, the Grammy, try to no, the Grammy, but, but, stop but, it. But, 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 
pas le bout de temps. Mais Aïna a look fait. C'est get nominated for Grammy. But I don't see that when you album, you make it for make a win on a Grammy. No, I think to you that. And, and, and I don't think that in the future, I'm going to make an album for win a Grammy. We don't know that. Tomorrow is, is we don't have insight. But dear man, we did three times now, and I don't see the same album that's cool for win the Grammy. A three times yeah, yeah. Well, remember, you know, you're you young in the music, you know. No, but you have to look at the next 10 years from now and see what evolve. I mean, ten years I'm from now. You, um, I'm saying to you that the structure and the order of the day, because we are clamoring now to get um, them don't put reggae music into the the regular music. Yeah, but um, I'm and to them, 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 them allowed to go through before, and it's not on the program as such. Yeah, put when it gains that them, credibility, man. then they will be very particular in allowing um um for example reggae music came to the bedroom from Mali Peter Touch into reggaeton into Jawaiyan into yes, all the other yeah, forms in that. reggae and the rest of it. Yeah but you still have man who are singing the song that you love and me love. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Eh? It's not across the board. That no, not gonna be a, it was never across the board. It was never across the board. Yeah, but it has gone into, into a myriad of different ways. That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, brother. but you see, yeah, but that, nah, that, yeah, that, we're talking about now, the youth that will come up now, like Chronics, like Jesse Ryan. Uh, chronics yeah. are full. We're not, like, but like, there are, there are several others. Like but I'm going to look now and say 10 years' time. I mean, I say them can't change, you know, because people change, but I mean, I say, if, if Alex change 10 years time, you still have to have a next youth. It doesn't stop. It's still have okay, a next if, youth. If reggae music is 10 singers, there are only two that is seen what we know as, um, as culture music. Yeah, but the two resonate, the two resonate, the two of them resonate. Resonate bigger than the other 10 round of the car, and so. And it resonates more than a whole heap of things where we feel say never did that happen because dance all it take over. Damn and Marley go win the Grammy three times. You know what I mean? You are something bigger than that, man. I mean, we're not you for Grammy for validate what we are dealing with. We never have you for Burning Spear get validated by them or Bob Marley or Peter well, that. The, the pause that be control the strings to the Grammy. I don't know what I'm not Grammy Jamaica. When I'm not them in the Grammy, it has no significance to our liberation as or now. That is just a little ice name, but that is no significant. The, the, the Chronics album, where was Chronics and Damian album, where was the, where them call it now? Everybody did war, either of them win. But you reach to the album, them, it's not something where, it's, it's something where you don't say why it a leak the system. The system, it's a legal system, you know, but you have people there right now who is very, what we call liberal to where I go on. And chronics, let me say, it's like a man, I say, boy, if you win the Grammy now, I'm going to call you sell out or something. You know, no, I wouldn't say that. I would never say that. Yeah, but if 10 that years' time, really, chronics had the first really album, really album, 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 watch out. If 10 years' time, I call them get old and do something different, you go have some other youth to come and do something again. Alright, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but we have to move to the second. Yeah? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not. Well, I, mean, I love Jamaican get caught up in a lot shooting with about 17 people and up in the hospital. Well, so I love Jamaican get caught up in a lot in a lot school there yeah, because it's not like they don't happen. Yeah, motor. Ah, blessing man, Dingo, you know, man. Yeah, blessings, blessings. Been listening to the program, man, and I want to ask for you talking about the road situation and also the brotherhood said about when public works department, you know, mm. was fixing the roads, things were much, much better, better because fixing the road, you have to maintain it consistently, you know? Hello? 
Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you have to maintain it consistently. Because, um, remember, in the 70s, working as a civil engineer with the Ministry of Works in, jo in Jamaica, and the Maypen Bypass Road and out by policies and so on, you know, in the major projects division of Ministry of Works. You know, I, I personally can attest to the fact that the, 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 the way in which contracts are awarded for some years now is, is, is very bad in terms of the roads that are provided for service in Jamaica, people in Jamaica, you know what I mean? You know, the political corruption, the corrupt contracts being given to people who are not qualified to be fixing and, and, and making roads, you know? You know, very, very serious, serious situation. And this is something that I'm glad that you know, you and the brother yeah. highlighted once more, you know. Yeah. Very, very serious. But you one know, one of the, one of, one of the people is a motor with roads, you know, is that when you build roads, you must have a drainage system that is also built to, because when the water is not able to be drained away, then the road that is built, no matter how good, is destroyed. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yes. You must have a drainage system. You can't just make it. If, in fact, the drainage system is part and parcel of road design, you know what I'm saying? Yes. In my capacity as a civil engineer, we work with the Ministry of Works there and, and, and thing, you know. Uh, and, may I ask you a question? You hear me? How many agents are coming to England? Yes, um, and I even heard the date. Yeah. You're pretty safe, yes. April the 7th. Yes, 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 I heard that. I mean, I when Omar Janso first came here some years ago, I met him, it was by, when he spoke at the um, Kilburn, the Tricycle Theater, mm. and he, since then, when he has come, I have introduced him on stage several times, yeah. Omar Janso, so he's somebody who I know, and also on my radar shows, you know. Right, when, when the lighthouse, when the, when the lighthouse, the, the, the lights are here, the lighthouse, the lighthouse. <laughs> Where the lighthouse is, or Camber, Camberwell Road, which part that there? Oh, that's Camberwell Road is, is, is um, South London. That's near to the Oval Cricket Ground and not far from Brixton either. Yeah. You know, Camberwell and um, New Road. So it's, it's an it's a area that I know very, very well. You know, you have Elephant and Castle and Peckham. So you know the place, you, you have a place that looks like functions keep upon Campbell Road. You know yeah, 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 yes, yeah, 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 you have several places. It's in the know. lighthouse, it's in the lighthouse. Yes, I have never been there, but I know of it, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So I you know, know and, 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 and thing. So, that, that, that should, that, that should be good. Of course, um, Umar has been in the news recently, yeah. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Umar gets involved in some things, but yeah, people have really seen him because they haven't seen him for a while since certain things happened, you know yeah. what I mean? But him so, retire from blackness. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say, but what I find with Umar is that he has to be very careful in who he deals with and also engage because you know when you're in politics and thing mm -hmm. you're going to have opponents and that type of thing mm -hmm. he has to be careful with the kind of language yeah. that he uses in addressing his rivals because you don't want them to use that as ammunition yeah, against yeah. the good messages yeah, that he has long otherwise we bring him long and go see him go on <laughs> yes i know i know i, I mean I, I saw it you know yeah. i saw it you know and him talk about the the, the chinese um threat etc yeah. and and that type of thing but talking about um the, the, the same skin bleaching, self-hating mentality thing is that once again in the news here we have been things where African sisters here in Britain being told that their workplaces by them yes, European um, about it, about it. Yes, being told that the 
Afro is not tied there and they must wear a wheel and that yes, type yes, of thing. Yes, yes, I Yes, yes, we're very, very racist, you know. Oh. So the racism continues. And there was a case of a brother who went to a function for his company and carried his wife. And his manager got angry at him and said, I, I, why did you bring your sister? You should have brought your wife because he assumed that you're an African man or an African woman be in a position, certain positions in terms of companies that they must have as a partner, some European. Yeah. You know, and, and this is one of the sad things because for some years now, and I think you have noticed this too, you know, Muta, but in Britain, for example, a lot of the ads on TV and in magazines and so on, whenever they feature an Af African man or an African woman, they deliberately pair them with a European partner, yeah, yeah. whether male or female. Yeah. In other words, the image of an African man with an African woman, them exi they have exiled that. They don't want to show that image mm -hmm. of the African man with the African woman. Yeah. You know, that is yeah, direct yeah, propaganda warfare against the the, 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 the the African race and African family unity. You know, when you when you when you look at it, serious, serious thing. And that is something that we as a people have to you you, you know, strike out and, and, and correct. You know, they're not deliberately not showing images of African couples. The man must either have a European partner or the woman must have a European partner. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying that the only way in which you can so-called achieve mm -hmm. is yeah. that you must have some European, you know, and dealing with the dilution of the African race. Mm -hmm. And what a thing, Zuma has resigned. Today? Yes, and, and um, Morgan Changarai, who the British and Americans use as a puppet, he died from colon cancer, he age 65. Yeah, but the Zuma yes. thing is really something else, though. The Zuma. Because yes. if he said, Look, i fight it, but he must get up to the and say, Yesterday I was say, What child? All right, I'm going to resign. Yeah, because he realized that um, the party hierarchy were totally against him, you know, yeah. and it, 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 it was a fruitless battle, you know, to, to, to go on. But I know what he's fretting about are the charges of fraud, corruption, and that type of thing. Mm. Because what he wanted was a three month grace period yeah, yeah. to serve out rather than be pushed out now. And also, but people must be aware, you know, of the new president, Cyril Ramaphosa, you know, because he's one of them involved with that British company, Landmen, where on their behalf, the police in South Africa shot and murdered, killed. 34 African miners at Marikana, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't know why I feel that. I don't know why I feel that. the people. I don't know why I feel that a white man will be a president of South Africa again, you know. Well, listen. If that is so, you know, Muta, it would be no surprise to me, it might sound shocking to some people, mm. because nothing has changed for the vast majority of African people in South Africa. Yeah. The whole Mandela ANC thing was a con, as I have always said, the situation in terms of the land, yeah. the economy, control, etc. Nothing has changed since 1994 with Mandela coming in. Yeah. The vast majority of African see people me, in me. South Africa are still suffering see over 90% of Mandela. the land, yeah. still owned and controlled by the European races. Yeah, 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 the president, uh, the new president of Zimbabwe said, no, nah, give out the land to the white people, them. Yes, 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 but, but what happened, he was under pressure, you know, because people were seeing that the British and Americans and other Europeans were pressuring him to say, change from President Mugabe and, and, and give yeah, the land that but, was stolen you know, to thing. But pressure has been brought to bear that anyone ever does that, yeah. he will show that he's an agent of the European imperialist. Yeah, I'm saying that. So that's I'm why he was, so it's pressure that is brought to bear why he had to come up with that statement. Yeah. So I'm not I agree with that statement, and this is how we have to keep people in our communities.
is we have to keep them doing things in our interest. Yeah, in yeah. our interest, definitely. And what a thing in Haiti. Mm. Yes, with Axam and, and as Muta as you know, and others who know this too. Most of these so called charities. So for example, out of 100 pence in the pound, about 90 pence, and in the case of the states, for example, yeah. about 90 cents or so, remain in, in either the states or Britain or in Europe, you know. Yeah. It's a big con, this so-called charity thing. Yeah, man. Whereby the directors and European workers get a lot of money and live yeah, you know, see, Hillary on Clinton, You know, see Hillary Clinton did do it, man, in a yet to say that, too. Yeah. And, and have our brother involved with the gold mining thing in Haiti. Yeah. And this is why people must read that book named Clinton Cash. Clinton Cash. Showing the Clinton's exploitation in Haiti mm. and in Africa yeah. and elsewhere. Them never have any money since them leave, leave the presidency thing and them set up them foundation as a money making thing. Mm. You know? Yeah, big, yeah. big time. Big, big time, you know, yeah. and thing. Uh -huh. Michael Rose is here, you know, in, in, in doing some shows in England, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. Spoke him about two days ago and thing, you know. Uh -huh. And it's sounding good, same way, man. Michael Rose. Uh -huh. Rose uh -huh. Every time. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Next week, I tell you about that thing about skin bleaching in Senegal. All right. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to see enough. We're going to see enough. Yeah, enough. Yeah, good night, Mota. Good night, blessed man. Yeah, man, I'll the name. Alright. Yeah, me just, not really a touch a topic, me just want to get a, a low down for that issue. Alright. But I have two things pertaining to artists against violence. Okay. Because right now, we're in a situation where the nation made a different look at how we see things. Yeah. But I have a song name, two songs now, me have one name, Ready Not the Gideon. And they have another one named No Guns. Yeah, where no guns where to Jamaica. Where name? No guns come my yard. Archers. Eh? Archers. How that spell? A R C H I E I O U S. Okay. A R C H I E. Yeah. I O U S. Okay. So you bring you bring two come come long, yeah? No, I don't read down the eye yet, Mota. Okay. I think I have to get back. No, you have introduced me to you. You have introduced yourself to me. Yeah. Okay. So why are you going to show them come on, Harry? All right. We just get the no-guns back from the studio tonight. Mix and master. The giddy and the dirty. But we don't wait until the two of them forward. All right, but, uh. See? So we have to reach out and make you know what I'm going on. You understand? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Give thanks. All right, but I'm out there. Yes, the Virgin had some promotion for music. <laughs> Free promotion, okay. <laughs> Give you a dear. All right. Original Empire. I hear somebody call and tell me, say, I'm going to go in. If I always hear so Empire Fiat about that in Thomas. Empire Fiat. When we play the hotel, damn. Big Bumble Land, the other Albia next week, Saturday, on the 24th. No, I'm going to ask if I'm the original Emperor of Fiat. Yeah, you know the original one, same one. All right, sir. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> you remember my Emperor of Fiat, you know. Yeah, of course, you must remember. But I mean, you should come up here, yard, man. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man, you know, we live by one of them, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, and call him, I'm call him, kill us. Kill us, yes. Oh, you, man, call him. I guess you just call me a while ago from New York. Pauline. Who? Pauline. You remember Pauline? Pauline. She just called me to try evangelist now. She turned evangelist. Look at that thing. She just called me about an hour ago. She called me. That's nice, man. That's nice, you know? That's nice. All right, so I'm glad for you. That's, so, I'm going to launch out for what I did there. Yeah, I'm going to launch out for you. I'm going to get over like a request, like, you know, from for all Gilly there. You remember Gilly? Gilly, 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 man. Eh? Yeah, I mean, if you remember Gilly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to call him as a boy, you know? You, you know? Yeah. If you can't get me to drop on and see me call the people, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah, yeah. who want to bring back the whole time thing, you know what I mean? 
Uh, no, no fear yeah. don't reach out there. Trust me. Alright. Uh, 24th, yeah. you said? The 24th? Yeah, man. Next week, Saturday. Is that Saturday night? Yeah, man. Next week, Saturday. Which part don't there? Huh? Which part out there is it, Akeem? All the time, man. All the time. Bring me your car, Mr. Wright, on the main road. Yeah, on the main road. All right, yeah, sir. Yeah, you know, they call it uh, Big Bamboo, the uh, Bar and Grill. All right, sir. All right. One yeah, man, I remember. Give thanks. Sorry, Yeah, man. I'm proud of it, man. Yes. <laughs> we never hear them things. They are going on, you know. Because, you know, you know, sometimes you really yearn for something where you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, something you know, you know, I play music when you know, yeah. You know, I'm going to cover that now and fix, but I'm going to be telling you young people something. So I don't know why you're going to be telling you young people something. That's right, so. Anyway, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, give thanks, you know. Give thanks to all who call and sit here with me. Because you know, so I have some hands where they sit here with me, just me. And I say, oh, I'm going to call them. When I woke up some security guard, man, I'll tell you. Security guard, why you have all the security guard, why them little radio inside a little guard room there, you know. Yeah, you know, why you have know, all you know, the dressmaker them where the machine went red when stepping raise and cut, when cutting edge and come on, trust me. The, 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 the machine, them, all the people them who get them clothes on time should have thanked me, you know. Yeah, when they get your clothes, it's so, and them get it on time, them should have thanked me. Because of the program make. Then get them close on time. That just make them sleep. And that's all. Even the man them who do carpenter work. We call it furniture work. Some of them sit up there and listen. So, you know, we love that, man. We love that. You know, 20 years are still going strong. Can't have better than that. If something never go wrong, we'll there still. So, we must have something right. While we're still there. The problem is that our only powers listen to me and just we can go through our ears and come through their ears now. But we have business. You know, we throw it and something, some, something get picked up out there. If you want to get picked up, you know, you say, nobody knows the program, so time it come off. But we're there still. We're there. Yeah. Well. Ayata. Aye. Nobody come talk about you the one cut that shoe there, you know, because I'm here with patience. I'm not here, but I'm here with the shoe that I hear some man that come to me and talk to fools this hour. What are you doing, man? I'm here to bless up, man. You know what I mean, Safari? I know you say, you're going to laugh, but I'm here to say no. You know, say, I'm going to set up a award for your listener then. A award? Yeah, the best listenership award. Yeah, that is. Who are going to be the number one? No, man, Dinka. <laughs> I'm one nigga from England. <laughs> the most. The most. The man is and uh, I'm positive and have every time him have a, a salute. Uh, 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 what do you call it? I yeah. think to the solution. Yeah, I'm have something to say. I'm have something to say. I'm have something to say positive, man. Yeah, man. I'm a schoolmate, man. Eh? I'm a schoolmate, you know. Do you know me? De- yeah. Listen. Yeah. You got to the words. I'm 20 years old. I'm a student, you know. So I know where I go. Ah, that's there. So look here now. I know you hear, I know you hear your tune a while ago too, your heart is. All right, all right. And you know, no, say me, I say, to Emperor Faith. Yeah. Back in the days, we gave him trouble with our little sound, you know. Ah, ha, 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 he was here. Emperor Faith, you know, say, El Paso gave you trouble. Oh, and yes, El Paso, oh, gosh, man, we know El Paso too, you know. Then you know, most, you know, then you know, you know the thing from morning. Yes. Hello, with Dennis Al Capo, with El Paso, we turn back Tubbies with you, uh, uh, hand uh, time uh, and jamming. Uh, How uh, we the man at the house, some man? So, like, you look at Clash, you know, watch it, you know. No, if they look at Clash, they may, may go use you as the selector and mash up anything. <laughs> All right, sir. So. A Friday, may I have to see you. You have to see me Friday, no, Friday. All right. So, Friday, yes, sir. Okay, what if we we'll check you? You know, most of you come check me and you can't come with you. I've got to bring some food come now, come from half of the farm, you know. Let's go with the power of farm, you know, man. All right, sir. You have, you, you have water coconut. Bring coconut, man. Jelly coconut. Uh, let me figure it out. <laughs> let me figure it out. All right, one minute. You can't find Kian. Uh, my wife loved that one, the bad. Me uh, too, me too. Me have to eat save me. Have you ever talked about, man? Right, right, Alice, man. Me love that. What? The original buyer, man. Yes, I am. Give thanks. Yes, I am. Yes, buyer. I'm going to see everything at cash. And at cash, you know, you know, trust me. I'm going to see everything, you know. But I'm going to say, buyer, come look at that idea. 
Oh, that's how fast you got him. I say, boy, you look so beautiful and nice and sweet and all that stuff. I don't want them to sit up there and think it. You see, they go find out, say, boy, I'm blind, man. They couldn't believe it, man. <laughs> they couldn't believe it, boy, I can't say, boy, I sit up there and buy all that new man name. In a, in a the name, in there, I tell you. Original boy. Okay. We are continuing this, you know. We are continuing this. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Ed. Well, you know, thanks, you know. Yeah, man, every time. I mean, I say religiously, there are some people tuning in year in, year out, day in, week out, in, week out, you know. Mm. Well, I mean, I saw, I, 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 I've been guilty not coming to church recently still, you know. Yeah. I'm a kind of guilt. We call it now, um, to a YouTube thing. Yeah, yeah, you can't see, you can't listen to it back on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know nothing. I'm going to tell you, Virgin, I'm going to tell you, Star, it's a great thing because remember, say, if you want to take it as, you, you, you know, as somebody always take it in your mm. kind of dark. You see what I say? My turn. Eh? My turn, I go dark. No man, we why you want to Oh, oh because we <laughs> yeah. don't say it out there already. We don't say it out there already. You don't say, if a man want to make him call a dark and feel business, but I don't know my call a no dark. But I don't know if you touch my car, I don't know if you just tune in. I don't know if you touch my car, I don't know if you touch my car, I don't really get much eyes still. This man of my ears, you know, say, him the business of them want to say about him and corruption charges and all them things there. No, we touch on the, the thing about them. Them a run, them a run out of the African them by March. Twenty thousand African must leave Israel by March. Oh, you never see that news there. You never hear that one. Yeah, three thousand five hundred dollars to leave <laughs> to cover them here plane ticket. I don't know business now. That's why the president. Uh, 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 um, no, but no, uh, oh, he might do that now. And when. The, the, them, them have charges against him. Mm. It's not like our politician where you never really hear them say, uh, more time or some, some, some council and them thing they might hear mm. the charges against them and you know, you know, your MP get charged and all of them thing there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one yeah. the Prime Minister of the place. Yeah. And them say this man have corruption charges and all them thing there. And them say, if you never look for them, you can't go and chat off in the mouth. Yeah. And that me here from the report of me here still. You know, yeah, for yeah. the year that one day. You know. yeah. Well, I don't hear that one day, but I don't I mean, disbelieve you. I think that's true. And, and you agree with, with the Virgin a while ago where uh, he said, boy, Mandingo is one of the most consistent. Yeah. To the program, and contributor yeah. to the yeah. program in a positive way. Yeah. Him call the same time every night. Two hours a day with him call. Yeah, consistency of the thing, you know, because enough time, enough for the, you know, you know, keep up the yeah. thing, and, yeah. and with, with consistency, we have to bring in you in the mix, too. Yeah. Because, trust me, it, 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 me, you know, say it more than you say, boy, come like, well, we can't keep, can't stop repeating this, you know, because... Some people are here that time when they say it the first time. And I know the real thing. Yeah. I remember the days when me also, I'm a Roman who's alive, and me also check, say, I'm me alone in this program. Roman, I don't listen to the virgin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a, and it's a man where... That man, uh, him kind of throwing me for listening to world, world news and them yeah, things, you know. Yeah. You know, we see BBC and certain things, but after a while, we get m more enlightened and know, so them have them agenda too. Yeah. But meanwhile, the man inform a certain way. Yeah. Them yeah. kind of deal with the world. Remember the programming thing we already talked about? Program, mind control thing. Man. Yeah, man, them, them feel with it. Them feel yeah. with it and make, make you feel like, say, boy, you know? You never know this when, you never know this when CNN I show you something. The clip of them I show you, I represent the something them I show you. Them keep, like, them are loop it. Yeah. And it just stick in your head, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, them just loop it, loop it, loop it, and just stick in your head. Them all just say, it's breaking news, you know? All two days, them all say, breaking news, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, like, 
Them no five things, man. Them five things for your man make. Trust me, can come out of your mind, man. I bet you hear that after a while ago. Um, and I'm talking about empire fee. It's the same time when you... you mean, em- 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 first, em- first man you call in, eh? Em- emperor fee, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And same time when click on YouTube and you hear something rugged. I mean, I said, you come by some, some real dub sound in here where some bass line in here and you're in a bridging. Yeah. I always attack one baseline and I want people and I said make sure your sound system up to date. Yes. Because <laughs> you have to go probably go buy some oh, speaker. You have to buy back some speaker next morning, man. Yeah, yeah man. And, 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 and we give thanks to them, man. They call them, man. They set the foundation. And we give thanks to them still around, too. Of course. Me never know, say. Eh, me never know, say. Um, Emperor Fiat still about. Me never know, say. Because I know for the other sound, them um, they call it, you know, them sell out and, you know, I... Yeah, you know, different uh, something. Yes, definitely, so... I hear your buyers just call it out with help us, so you don't know them sound, then. I'm sorry, I'm worried about help us, so you call it, you know, you call it, Stuart. I don't know if they have a sound, too. I don't know if they two different yeah. things that, you understand? Right. But, but brother, yeah, keep man. up the good work, you know, and, well, I, and, I, and I don't want to put me on the back bench because I don't come to church. No, we're not on the bench in there, no. <laughs> no bench on the at all, no, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you hear? Give a thanks. Yeah. No, no bench on the at all, Benjamin. Why are you not from Lane, you know? From Lane. Oh, you know, man, trust me, man, give thanks. Give thanks for that gift for you, give me, man. Believe you me. I don't get to give so, and that power was more way. So, I know you have more than that, the final. I know you have more than that, ne? so I don't know if I forgot to go to your next function again, but I know you have more than that. Ne? Give thanks, Bridget. We're going to have a little more from, now, from 2 o'clock to 5.45 with the stepping razor, the art of what?